Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did the light and how I made this look like like um like uh so, like um stainless steel for the bumper. So um, let me get. I'm going to use watercolors as a base, and I'm using um, Jane Davenport paints, and I'm going to choose this yellow color right here. Okay. And I'm going to go right over the lights, just over the light part, not over what would be the silver part, which that's going to be the silver part right there. Let me make sure of where we're at on this car. Let me come out just a little bit. Let me see the other light too. Okay, so I'm going to do the other light over here also. And then... Um, there's a little small light there and another light here. Okay. Then I'm going to show you the stainless. While that's drying, we're going to use, now I'm going to still use the Jane Davenport paints. I'm going to go into the silver right here. And we're going to, this is going to be my base coat um, for the um, bumper, which is stainless steel, right? So we're going to go over that a little bit. And when you use this technique, you want to go with your lightest color because you're going to shade with colored pencils. Okay, so this is going to be like your highlight color, your lightest color. So when you do this technique, and you can do this with markers. It doesn't have to be done with uh, watercolors. You can do this with um, alcohol markers. You can do this with pencils. It's the same technique. It doesn't matter which media you choose, okay? All right, so, and this too, if I choose to go into the grate part, but the, the grate's also going to be stainless steel, so is the bumper. Okay. Okay. And I'm not sure in this in this whole thing if I'm going to have time to do the snow. I think I was going to maybe try to fit the snow in, but I don't think I'll have time to do the snow. So um, on another video, I'll show you guys how I did the snow. We'll see if we can fit it in. If we can fit it in, I will. I'd love to do just a little sampling of how to do the, how I did the snow. Okay, that's also silver right there. We don't get to that, but I just went ahead and did it anyway since I got the silver in my brush. And the door handle has a silver. This has silver. Okay, I won't get to sh to you know putting shadows and stuff all into the do those, but I just thought while well, I have the silver paint out. I would hit that. And that's what I like to do. If I had anything yellow, I would hit all my yellow spots. If with the silver, I would hit all the silver, like the inside of here where inside the wheels where it's silver, the silver plate here with the, that you step your foot on. Okay. But I'm going to stop there. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to do, how I'm going to do the um, lights to make this look like these are headlights. Um, I like to take I like to take uh, Prismacolor uh, Terracotta, and um, this is actually one of the Scholar ones, and I'm just going to, um, and you have to make sure that this is dry, and this is all dry, I figured it was dry now, uh, make sure it's nice and dry, obviously, and um, I'm using the Terracotta, and I'm using it just on the, outs the outer side, like the inner here. So the light can kind of shoot out and you're going to take your uh, blender pencil. Make sure your blender pencil doesn't have much of that black left on it and blend that out. See how that really starts looking. And let me just make sure what you guys are seeing. Make sure that I can frame. Let me come in a little closer. See how that starts making that look like, like light. Okay. And then you can do the same thing here on the little one. 
I'm going to add a little bit more of this color in here. Deepen it just a little bit more. Okay. And then blend this one out here. And when you blend it out, you blend it out to a, to like a, a second or third color when you blend it out. Okay. So that's how I did that. I think that turns out so cool. And look, I'm only using two colors when I did that. Or not two colors, just one color. Um, I might want to just a second. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna take this um, this uh, Prismacolor Yellow Orchid and just go over the whole thing. Because I like how that Yellow Orchid is just making everything blend together and even look even more like headlights. Okay. So there's that technique there. And then let's go on to these, um, to make this look like stainless steel. Let me come out a little bit. I'm going to do the, um, I'm going to do the bumper right here. So on the bumper, um, I'm going to take a Prismacolor medium cold gray, and I am going to on the very edge do the darkest color okay and do that same dark color over here and we're going to keep working our way from dark to lightest and we get to the middle we won't do anything and it'll really show more like it's stainless steel okay okay then we're going to take um, dark gray what was this other one? Oh, wait a minute yeah and these are both Prismas color scholars that I'm using so then I took the medium gray and now I'm going to take the dark gray I believe yep and come out from there seems like it would be the other way around huh Look, that's how the colors are how they're that's how they're named so okay and bring that out here let's bring it out a little bit more a little bit more here okay and let's bring out the darker gray that's in the corner out a little bit more And then let's take our blender pencil and blend that out. And blend that all the way out into the next color. And blend that other color out into, when you're left, it's just the watercolor that, was, that we did originally. And then let's do the same thing here. Let's blend that out. And then blend that out to the lighter gray. And then keep blending it out. I'm going to use that little bit lighter gray color again. Okay, perfect. And I want to get a little bit deeper in the in the corners, just a little bit. And try to go as lightly as you can and just build up the layers so that if you want to be able to go back, you haven't like done a wax bloom because once you've built up and you've gotten to a wax bloom, you can't blend it. A blending pencil does help though, even if you've wax bloomed it out, uh, having a um, pencil does help. So see how that looks like, now that looks like, like stainless steel when you do that? I think that looks really, really cool. Making sure you guys are seeing all that, yeah. Okay, so that's how I do the silver. And I'm trying to see if I want to go over that with another pencil. I don't think so. No, that looks good. So I'm going to do that again. Oh, you know, I might go over it with this. All right, I lied. I think I'm going to go over it with my lightest uh, pale cold gray. Let's see if I want to go over it with that. Yeah. I think so. 
Let me see how that looks there. Yeah. Okay, so that's how I'm doing the silver. And I'm trying to see if I want that in the middle or not, if I want it to be a little lighter. Okay, you know what? I decided that I don't, okay, I went over everything with the um, pale silver gray, and I don't, I didn't want to do that. I'm going to take that out of my thing. So I went ahead and erased it, because I want to leave this pretty light in the middle, because that's what's going to, that lightness in that middle is what's going to really make it look, um, is what's going to really make it look, um, like it's stain, like it's you know stainless steel or silver. Yeah. So let's leave. Make sure we leave that lightness in the middle there. Okay. And then um, let's do the same thing here. Okay. I'm going to take my darkest color here and bring that out here. Okay, I'm gonna darken to here. And I'm gonna bring this out here. And then I'm gonna take the next lightest color, which is the dark gray, or just a lighter gray. So start out with your darker gray and then your medium tone gray here. Okay, and then let's take our blender pencil and blend this out. And blend that in here and blend this out here. And let's take this here, blend this out, and then blend that lighter gray into this, into the watercolor that we did first. Okay. And I think that looks so good. That's what really starts making it look like silver. See? On both of those. So those are the techniques for that. And let me look at my time. How many minutes do I have? Okay, I'm good. Okay, and then um, I'm trying to see if there's something else. Oh, okay, so those are the three things there. I do want to show you. I do have time to do the snow. So let's go down to the bottom. Let me. Oops, I can come up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how I did the snow. And I have my colors pulled, I believe. Where are they? Yes, here and here. Okay. Just a second. I got to sharpen my pencil. Alrighty. Okay, so how I did the snow, we will do it. We'll go over here and do the snow here. Just making sure that you, I'm on camera, which I'm not. Just trying to make sure where I'm... Okay. We'll do some snow right here. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to just follow the... Um, follow the lines that I made for the snow like this okay and then bring those up like that then and i used a uh prisma color copenhagen blue and that's what that color right there looks like okay and then i used a prisma color uh light blue okay and that's that color And then I like to do the same thing. Follow that line. Okay. Okay. And you can even just go in a little bit of circles. Then take my blender pencil and let's start blending this out. And then from there, Let's start blending up a little bit that light blue color. Okay. 
And what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you blend up the light blue that you leave white up here at the top because that's going to really show the snow, okay? Okay, so here, I'm going to put this dark blue in here again, this Copenhagen blue, okay? And you guys don't have to use the same exact blue colors I'm using, but maybe something similar, whatever you have in your little repertoire of colors. You can also do this with... Um, you could also do this with, you could probably do this with watercolors. You can. You could do this with your uh, Copic markers. Uh, or you can do this with your Prismacolor. Um, oh, what are these? <sighs> I always forget what is Spectrum Noir markers. Okay? It's the technique is what you want down. Not exactly the exact media or colors I'm using. So basically what you need is a deeper blue and a lighter blue okay and you can play around with different shades of blue you could do this with purple okay because you can maybe do a purple sky then and that purple sky is bouncing off here here i did a blue sky and the blue sky is bouncing off see i did a blue sky and blue mountains basically and that's bouncing off onto the snow but you could do a purple sky with purple mountains and it'd be um, bouncing off to the snow okay so here we go Okay. I'm kind of just following the lines that I just followed up there at the top. And you can come up a little bit higher here on this side because you have more space up here to get to that white part. And right here too. Okay, so then let's go ahead and blend out the dark part. Kind of blend that out. You can go in circles. You can kind of go over it. Circles. And let me make sure that I am in. Yeah, I'm in frame. Okay. You can blend it up doing a little bit of circular. You can go like that. Blend it up. Go like that. Blend it up. Go like that. Blend it up. Okay. And then you keep blending it up. keep blending everything up. Now you're going into that lighter blue color and you're blending that out too. And that blends it out to a third color. And basically you're blending it to a third color into white, into nothingness. And that's how it looks like snow. And you want to make sure at the top here that you leave that white at the top that you blended it out into basically white, which is just what was left there to begin with, is the white, and there's the snow. And that's how I start doing the snow. Um, let me do another one right in through here. Let me make sure you guys are seeing that. We'll do another one right here. I love doing the snow. You could sit in front of the TV and do all of your snow one evening, which is what I did. I just took my picture um, into our bedroom where we like to watch TV, and I just worked on all the snow one evening. Okay, so there we go. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to do a, um, instead of a, uh, for, I, I may do some of my cards this way too. I'm going to change this uh, truck instead of a little red truck and a little pink one, you guys. So hopefully next week I'll get that video out. And I'll show you how I do this pink. And then I want to do the sky like pink and purples and then do the snow like that. So the snow won't be blue. The snow will be like pink and purple and things like that. I think that'll be gorgeous. Especially for uh, those of us who like the shabby chic thing. Because I love shabby chic. You guys know that. I do a shabby chic Christmas. But I knew that people would get a kick out of the little... Okay, now we're going to blend out the... Um, that lighter blue too, going up. Um, I knew people would get a kick out of the little red truck because at Dollar Tree, we've all been buying everything that has the little red truck. And I really wanted to have that little red truck um, gift bag, which I couldn't find. So I thought, you know what? Darn it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw and paint my own little red truck. I thought, oh, Christmas cards would be fabulous. And what I think I might do is this. I thought maybe the little red truck will be the outside of my Christmas card. And inside, when you open it, it'll be the pink one. The pink, the pink truck. 
and I'll still make it Christmassy. I'll put a little wreath on it and everything too. Okay, and we're leaving the white right there at the top. In fact, I want to leave a little bit more white right here. Let's erase this a little bit. Got a little bit overzealous right there. Got a little overzealous right here. That's what I love about colored pencils. You can erase it. Oh my God, you guys, I'm burning this candle. It's called Plumeria. Oh my God, it's too hot for me to handle. I'd show you guys. It smells so good. It's a soy candle with real essential oils. I got it at one of those crafty festivals. I absolutely love it. But look how pretty that snow is looking. Isn't that looking gorgeous? And again, you can see that's how I got the snow here. Okay. See? Now, the next thing I want to show you guys, and I'll probably do this on another video like next week, um, maybe like when I do the little pink truck, I'll show you guys how I did the mountains. It'll be in a different color, but next week I'll show you guys the mountains. Um, and maybe it don't, and I'll, I'll show you a little bit of snow, but I'll make sure I hit the mountains next week when I do the little pink truck. Um, oh, you know what I wanted to show you guys? <sighs> maybe I'll make, you know what, I'll make a third part of this video because I do want to show you guys how I drip the snow all over this whole thing. That is really, really, I think, an important thing for you guys to see. Okay, so just a second here. This video, this timing of this video is about to end. So you know what, you guys, let me um, go ahead and get my white paint out and prepare to put snow on this truck. And I'll see you guys in the third part.